Today we are going from this to subtly enhancing your features to create the most elegant Eid look. It's the kind of makeup that looks fresh. You look like you and not a different person, but it brings your features forward and it's super delicate. And I can't wait to show you how it's done. And hi, if you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. And without further delay, let's create this stunning Eid look. Here's a trick to easily create radiant skin while giving you an even tone. Take a little bit of moisturizer. I'm going to be using the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. And I'm mixing a little bit of tint to it. The one that I'm going to be using today is Glowish by Huda Beauty. I'm using the shade Medium Tan and I'm going to mix both of them together and you should get something like this. It's a glowy consistency and you just apply it like your regular moisturizer. It immediately does something to your skin. I call it the goddess skin. It looks absolutely stunning. It's a very thin layer, so it's not going to crease and it enhances your skin immediately giving you the most beautiful glow and uniform coverage. And for those areas where you need a little bit more coverage, you can use a concealer. Here I'm using Milani Concealer in the shade 145. And rather than blending it immediately, I'm going to let it dry for a couple minutes because it gives you more coverage when it's a little bit more dry. Until then, I'm going to add a little bit dimension using the Physician's Formula Contour Stick. I'm just adding a touch of depth in the circumference of my face. We want to keep it very subtle. Now, most of the products that I'm using today are on sale on Sephora because the Sephora sale is going on. You might as well take advantage of it. I bought a bunch of stuff and I'm really excited to show you in my next video. But I'm going to link all of these products in the description box below. As the concealer is a little bit dry and tacky, I'm going to quickly blend it out with a foundation brush. Again, this is from Real Techniques and I absolutely love this brush. For blush, I'm going to be using Rare Beauty. This is the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in the shade Grateful. I'm just using a drop because this is very pigmented and I'm going to quickly blend it out with my fingers. And just like that, we are almost done with the base makeup. Using the one size translucent loose powder, I'm going to dust off some excess and I'm going to quickly set my face. I'm just using just enough powder so the makeup can absorb and quickly set. I don't want to use too much because I don't want the makeup to look cakey. And then using the Benefit Professional Super Setter, I'm going to quickly lock in the base makeup so it doesn't move. Now, because I'm growing my brows, I've completely changed my brow routine. I've stopped filling in the top portion of my brows because they're fully grown. What I do instead is I use a transparent brow gel. The one that I'm using today is from Kosas. I'm simply going to brush my brow hair upward so it can hold it in place. And just to fill in the sparse areas, I use a brow pencil. And the one that I'm using today is Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And this is in the shade Granite. I'm going to very lightly fill in the bottom portion of my brows just to give it some shape. I also like to fill in very tiny hair in the inner part of my brows just so it feels a little bit more complete. For my eyes, I'm just going to be enhancing the shape by using contours and highlights. And the palette that I'm going to be using today is the PYT no bs palette picking up this deeper shade first just to add depth in the crease so i'm going to be buffing it out in the outer corner and the crease using a blending brush and as you can see that subtly added definition and then using a flat definer brush i'm going to use it in my lower lash line as well and then i'm going to choose a metallic shade that's a close match to my skin tone it almost looks like my skin, but with a shine. And I'm going to apply it to my lid with my finger. And as you can see, that looks like a very subtle highlight. So when the light or sun shines on your eyes, it looks absolutely stunning. Using this bone color eyeshadow, I'm going to lightly highlight the inner corner as well as brow bones. And then using the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Pencil in black, I'm going to tight line only on top. And this pencil is amazing. It doesn't bleed or transfer. And then using the deeper shade of eyeshadow, I'm going to create the most subtle wing in the outer corner. It's time to finish up, so I'm going to first curl my lashes. This is the Sally Hansen Curler. 
And then for mascara, I'm going to be using the Clinique High Impact Full Volume Mascara. This is a fiber mascara and it adds so much length and volume. Absolutely love it. With this mascara, you don't need any false lashes. And that's pretty much it. The eye makeup is done. We didn't use much product on the eyes, but still enhance the features, giving the most stunning no makeup makeup look. To finish up, I'm going to first line my lips with this trusty brow pencil. This is from Koki Cosmetics. And I'm just going to lightly line my borders. If you're new here, I like to use a pointed brow pencil in the borders of my lips because they don't bleed unlike creamy lip pencils. And then for lipstick, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Cream Lipstick in the shade Habibi. That's a stunning shade, but I felt like I needed a little bit of gloss. So I'm going to be using a transparent gloss by Fenty Beauty. This is the Gloss Bomb in the shade Glass Slipper. With my hair, I wanted to keep it open, but I wanted to twist the front portion of it on both sides. So I'm just using a back of my makeup brush to twist it and pin it. And for a makeup like this that's so subtle, I like to add statement jewelry. And I got these earrings from Commercial Street in Bangalore when I visited last time. And here is the completed look. If you're looking for that fresh, youthful, minimalistic Eid look, especially for daytime, then this is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. And check out the description box for links to all the products that I used today along with links to my social media in case you plan to follow me there. I love you guys so much. Eid Mubarak to everyone and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.